We're in the battle of the states, Alan, and I think the Great Communion Revival is what God is giving to us. The days are coming that in communion you will reenact the same power that I did when I said, Father, forgive them. Right. John 20, 23, to those whom you forgive, I've given you the authority to, to, to forgive. A friend of mine's calling something called the table in 2023, John 20, 23, massive gatherings to forgive America, even though it doesn't deserve it. Gatherings to loose forgiveness over our governor who loses these wicked bills. Father, forgive them. Rather than raging, and there is a place for righteous anger, no question about it, but our hearts for that man should be Father, forgive them. Yes. I pondered Manasseh, a, a great leader in the body of Christ, said that Trump was worse than abortion, basically was saying this. Hmm. And I, I it, it, it came to me, God forgave the most wicked kids in the history of Israel, Manasseh. But he would not forgive the shedding of the blood of the innocents. Hmm. That is, so, uh, you know, these governors and stuff, they're in danger. But God wants to release that Father, forgive them. So I am looking, I, I'm, I'm going to Colorado, October 8th. I'm calling, I only have two months to mobilize. It just got late, but we had a dream that October was the time. It was going to be a miracle. And I'm going under the shadow of Pikes Peak, America's mountain. If a thousand show up or seven thousands, what the arena, the Broadmoor World Arena, to take communion and loose forgiveness from the state that was the first to legalize abortion, 1967. And we're believing for a great communion revival. I'm going to take communion in my weird. I want to go pour, do communion in the in the Colorado River. I've already taken communion <laughs> at, at the Sacramento River. I'm going mad right now. I'm just going to follow this the, the blood trail. This is what's on my heart. And I'd like to invite people from every state, representatives, to come to the first state. Let's start the battle for the states right here. Hmm. Colorado, October 8th, six hours for a great communion gathering to pray. And then I'm daring to believe. I'm believing for Texas to have, you know, communion on 122, maybe. The anniversary yeah. of Roe. Right today, Kansas is having a huge vote for their Supreme Court right yes. now, because it's in one sense, it's the first state. We're in the battle of the states, Alan. And I think the Great Communion Revival is what God is giving to us. And I'd like to run with you on that one. Well, one of the greatest revivals in American history was in the middle of the battle of the states among the southern armies and among the northern armies. And it's one revival that we don't talk about, but I think we're about to see it. I, I need all of you watching not only to share this, but allow the Lord in this season to challenge your understanding of communion. Allow him to challenge your theology. We've got the we've got the doctrine of transubstantiation where people think it is literally the body and blood of the Lord. Then we've got the doctrine of people who think it's, well, it's just, it's just parabolically. It's just symbolically. No, 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 no. It is neither. It is spiritual. Spiritually, the body and blood of our Lord that is tangible in our midst, like he said, tangibly touching the body and blood of our Lord in the Spirit. And I believe a mighty baptism of the Holy Spirit can be released through communion. Healing can be released through communion. Deliverance, but more than that, national revival can be released through communion October the 8th, 2022 in Colorado. How do people get in touch with this if they want to sign up and they want to come? Well, we're just beginning, but the website is Communion Colorado. Communion Colorado or go there uh, .com or .org. I am not even sure. We're just getting it up right now. Uh, uh, um, but just go to Communion Colorado and also the Great Communion Revival. I'm just prophesying it. And Alan, I think this meeting right here today may be a turning point for both of our lives. I agree. I think you're going to be a prophet or an apostle of this movement. I, I, I spoke it over Bill Johnson. I believe apostles of the blood are coming and I, I, feel, I feel like you're going to carry it in ways because you have that revival spirit on you as well. And I, I think it's the tipping point. So I prophesy it. Oh, 